Hello everybody, this is Fanny. How are you doing? Having a good day today. I haven't been working much since I don't have my computer and I've been painting. I have lots of painting projects going on actually. I started a lot of projects and then I need to finish them but you know what? I like when I have a lot of ideas of many paintings because most of the time when I start a new painting I'm like what am I gonna do? I'm not sure you know and then it takes me a long time but I like it when right away I'm like oh, I'm gonna do a painting just like that so I do the outline I prepare you know I do the, the, the base the outline the design then it's design is done I know what I'm gonna do I leave it for later and then the feeling the colors the feeling and everything I come back for it whenever I'm inspired oh today I'm gonna paint a little bit of this one I'm gonna paint a little bit of this one actually I have 13 paintings started right now I started 13 I have the I have a big one I want to trade my son the son that I have in my living room right now I'm trying to trade that um, next week and I would replace it with um, a, 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 the crop circle sun uh, to have some new energy in my living room this is a, a bigger painting this is gonna take me a while this stuff kind of take me a whole month just on their own um, just if I would just do that an entire month of just painting so you see if I'm doing other stuff at the same time it will take quite a while but it's okay I'm not in a rush um, I have a couple of more projects I still have the tablets of emerald one I'm, I'm not continuing it because I'm I'm wondering if I leave just that and tablets or if I add a little scarab sun over it and with the rays coming down to the tablets that would be cool but I think I'm gonna do that because I was like I don't want to overcrowd the space but at the same time Egyptians were like that they were taking as much space as possible oh I was thinking I could do some hieroglyphs on the top and the bottom uh, but that would probably be much too much not much space left for the dots I don't know so as long as I'm not sure but I think there will be like a little scarab sun uh, that shines over that and the, the, the writing as well so that would be cool um, anyways that's not what I want to talk about right now uh, I want to talk to you about a conversation I reconnect with a friend for a long time and it's like oh I've had the worst you know the difficult four years she's going through a difficult breakup so if you're going through a difficult breakup this video is for you and it's about closure and because we're having this conversation that just like goes in circle, in circle, in circle. And it's funny because just this morning, Dean was posting a video, Break the Cycle. And it's exactly, exactly what we were doing. And he was like, you know, small people talk about people. Um, regular people talk about things. And great minds talk about visions and ideas and stuff. But let's not forget that we are all of that. There is each of that in each of us you know of course we're affected by other people and of course we're affected by things and financial issues and material stuff and of course we all have our greatest aspirations and visions and I saw this video and I was like oh my god there's no separation we're all of that you know some days I'm a small people some days I'm a little you know argumentative um, person and some days I don't have the greatest visions and sometimes all of it at the same time and the conversation I had with my friend this morning that was just all of that and I was so beautiful that I want to share with you a huge shift that we've had and I think I hope literally that's gonna do like literally a month of therapy for her just that little shift and um and also I want to say, I'm going to tell you, but also I want to say that sometimes, you know, just helping one person, because we've been spending every day for the past two weeks, we've been calling each other and speak for three hours on the phone every morning. So I haven't been working much. But as a coincidence, when my computer was out, then she started calling me and that was just, you know, and I'm like, why well, the work you're doing for one, you're doing for... I don't know, you're helping one person, you're making one person's day better, you know, this is meaningful even. And I was like, see, even if I'm not influencing 5 million people, you know, on my social media, I'm really here for a friend, one, 
and and man I don't know and then I, so I'm gonna tell you so she's going through a difficult breakup I mean a breakup every breakup I guess is difficult usually but with a difficult person okay a person who has had many problems many because she has bad bad personality and uh, many many things happen to her right so the chick is just traumatized uh, which I can understand I can relate so I literally understand everything about that person that she's feeling that she what she's doing because I react like this sometimes so and I know that my friend is literally the kindest person on earth she's like so pure never a negative thoughts about anybody else maybe herself but not anybody else never when she was depressed or angry or got you know problems and stuff never rejected her anger at other people never so she receives a letter from her ex that is telling her how bad of a person you know she is the other person on the other hand is very you know did a lot of work on you know and did a lot of her personal work and is very happy about um, the way you know they've worked blah 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 but Liddy was never here to support uh, uh, or very understanding and stuff like, like really blaming ev everything right so of course you have to meet people where they are right so the first you know she's super sad and so I tried to make her feel better and at first um we spend the first half of the conversation, you know, it's talking about that other person and saying, you know, how bad, you know, the person is and uh, blah, blah, blah. That's all her fault. <laughs> Stuff like that. But then I was like, this is it's not going anywhere. And then I was like, you know what? First off, she's like, you know, I have no... I'm, I'm, at the, I'm at the I'm in the hole right now. I have no inspiration. I don't want to do anything and stuff. So first I told her, well then embrace that because when you know when I feel attacked or when I feel low in my energy then I just stay in my bed sometimes I sleep for a whole day because it's not that I'm physically tired I sleep a lot and but I'm emotionally tired so I sleep a day I regenerate but then because I have mentors every single day of my life and people amazing community that I follow online and I also have a strong personality that I get out of my funk you know fast so all of this is good um, assets that I have on my side that maybe she, she doesn't have that you know so she, it lasts a long time for her and and I'm like well you know what all these times in my life this transition time this time where uh, for example when I got in the US at very first when I wasn't married but I was in Virginia I was didn't have a car didn't have a job um, my husband what we was my boyfriend at the time wasn't working and I was at home and I was constantly this was the first time of my life where I didn't have a job literally I had all this time I was bored to really bored I didn't know what to do I had no friends I was like oh what am I doing here I was excited for the time I was spending with him but the rest of the time I was just watching shows on TV spending time with my dog and my cat cooking you know making stuff for him when he before he comes home you know literally do simple stuff of life and I was always and I was enjoying it but I was always feeling guilty I wasn't complaining I was feeling guilty I was like I'm not creating anything I'm not working I'm not making money I'm not um, I don't I'm not doing anything for my life my career I don't know you know and now looking back I'm like but I should have enjoyed this time because it didn't last it never lasts those times like that I should have enjoyed more not trying because of course I was gonna go figure something out but I was like I should have just enjoyed spending time with my cat which died shortly after so see I was like man I was it was a gift that time for me to spend as much time with her and Dusty as possible and then watch a lot of series and shows from America because now I have a lot of references that I probably wouldn't have time you know to to learn about after that so I told her that I was like you know what don't feel guilty you don't feel like uh, bad right now that you don't want to do anything just take this time for yourself take a week don't do anything don't plan anything just read books 
so of course I'm like hey you should read the tablets of Emerald you know right away I'm like hey this stuff is gonna switch your life and then I think about it and I'm like but you know what it's it's normal because once you reach a peak then you know this is when it disconstructs so you can reach a better peak in your life and as soon as I say thought and I, I start talking about it boom the shift happens and because I'm telling her I'm like as soon as you start reading this I'm telling you it's gonna start being magical in your life You're not just positive maybe some crazy stuff too but it's, it's gonna move stuff are gonna happen so be careful of your thoughts and and write down what you want the way you want to feel and stuff like that and as soon as I say that I have to shift I have to I, ha I understand the thing from a higher standpoint right and and I tell her but you know what because she, my, my friend she feels worthless because of the letter she's like but look at this letter that she wrote me um, I feel worthless that all this time together you know wasn't meaningful I don't feel valued um you know like she doesn't care and stuff and I'm like first off if she didn't care she wouldn't write this giant letter um, you know when you don't care you just don't care you know I was like she does care but she needed I was like she needed that to write that letter for her closure she needed to say how bad you are because if she was saying you know oh, how amazing you are she would realize what she's losing so for her in order to be able to turn the page she had to tell you that was her version of the truth that she needed to have in her mind so she could be able to move on she had to she had to say that you know she did a lot of efforts that you're a terrible person and you arrived in her life because of all the stuff she happened to her she needed a punching ball she literally she needed to have someone that's kind enough to take it and to help her relieve a little bit you know you're you're healing her wounds not healing yourself you're healing the wounds that she gave to you because it was too much for her to carry and i get it because my my mentors they do that for me all the time as well sometimes i, I feel like i have so much and then in five seconds you say something and i'm just or, or someone that you love or you know say something and you're like feeling better but what did, what are they doing they're just taking the charge energetically because they're more able to transmute it and and I'm like so she needed to write that for her closure it doesn't mean that she means it it doesn't mean that you're not valued uh, or she doesn't care because otherwise she wouldn't write all that she needed to fascinate her own version of the truth so she can move on and now you need to do the same thing. Now, you have many friends around you to tell you the version of the truth of who you are, how, who you, who you are, are, how we see you. Uh, sorry, I'm driving at the same time, but I just like, I was like, before I pick up Esteban, I wanna, I wanna share that because it's so important in a breakup, instead of fighting on who's right and who's wrong, just understand that You, you you write when you need in order to be able to to turn the page, right? You, write, you need to have your own version of the truth that is good for you and that you need. And I was like, you just see it this way so you don't feel like you're not the one valued. You just, she just did her work. Now you need to do your work. Even if that wasn't fair to you, and I'm not saying that, that was not fair to you. That's not your worth. She's completely wrong. But she that was her own protection she needed what you know and you're not trying to fix the relationship right now so it doesn't matter what you wrote in the end if you want to fix the relationship of course you have to come back and tell your truth and try to find a consensus but right now you're not here to fix the relationship you're here to fix yourself after the relationship so write your own version of the truth now you know you were the hero you not the victim in the relationship you were the hero you were here for her to take on her her wounds that she gave to you so now you get rid of it and and you listen to your friends all your friends who are telling you how awesome you are and not letting one person tell you uh you know that you are so bad and stuff and she's like wow crazy like yeah i didn't see stuff like this at all and and i was like well see sometimes it's it's good to talk about people and then you 
take the next step and then you take the next step and and boom you shift you elevate and you see from another standpoint because we we're just going in circles and I was like how can I you know I was like how can I break this cycle like okay she's she's crazy okay she's crazy but why is she crazy what happened to her she's in deep suffering right now nothing can change it she can't change the past so if the chick is not ready to make the work on herself to question she always wants to be right she can't be questioned so you can continue the relationship you know and and yeah so that was i don't know do you see the difference between like being the victim and all of a sudden you're you're the hero who came to heal someone's life and i don't know it was like just for me when i was saying about my last breakups and then i was like wow i was you know i was like why am i a victim why am i a victim it's why is this happening to me and then i, I my grandma on the phone who's like literally telling me the whole story of what's going on for me and she's like yeah i see them on tv and stuff and i realized that she's time traveling because she's now she's in between two worlds right now and she's just seeing what's going on in in the in the 1950s or 19, 1950s 1960s she's uh she's telling me her story and i'm like oh my god now i realize it's not my story i'm healing her story that's why this is happening to me because i'm healing my family line and then when i learned that i could detach i was like I'm mean, detached. Of course, I still have the grudges and stuff. Like, doesn't matter. The person who did me wrong, I'm not gonna forget that. I'm, I'm not as forgiving as the Dalai Lama. I'm sorry. Um, but that helped me understand why it had to happen because I was helping my grandmother. And maybe you know, my grandmother, she's been feeling like a victim all of her life. She was always this victim, weak. You know, because she was so kind. She was so kind. And maybe I'm, I'm, that's why I'm completely the opposite. And you can shut my mouth because I was like, I'm screaming all my life for what my mom, my grandmother never was screaming, you know? And uh, I was like, okay, um, it's all about the balance. And sometimes the balance is not just about the people who are in your life right now. It's about all the things you have no idea about in the karma. You are the way you are for a special reason and stuff. So super interesting. So... I hope you're not going through a breakup, but if you are, or a conversation, just know that sometimes it's just way people need to see a situation for their own protection, their own healing, and sometimes you're not the victim, you're the hero in the story, try to see it this way, and yeah, it changes everything, alright guys, have a great day!